off with a wide shot to show you what I've been up to and how I've been sort of missing here and there a few YouTube videos because I started drywalling the farmhouse and Mr. Blue Jeans was so sweet he let me go ahead and start with the studio because he knew how badly I wanted to get in here to have an area to be able to film at that's mine. I'm not taking all my camera equipment all over the farm. So I have a wall done. <laughs> all of it done. But I got a wall up and I got um, most of my fabric put up. I do have a lot of fabric, but that's a whole nother story. Um, so I just wanted to give you a wide shot. I'm going to go ahead and pull you in because today what we're going to do is talk about a um, chicken nesting box that I purchased and I really like. Uh, it has been a hard worker. It's uh, fairly priced. I am very, very happy with not only the cost, but how nice it is and how easily it goes together. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to open up one. We, we just purchased another one for the Jersey Giants because they're very messy chickens. They're, they're the poopiest chickens we have and our eggs just come out a wreck and I'm not able to, well, sometimes we give them to the dogs and sometimes we just throw them away because they're just far too messy. So I'm hoping that this nesting box will alleviate the problems that we've been having with them using the milk crates right now is what we've had available. So I'm going to pull you in closer so you can see what I'm doing, but I just wanted to share how excited I was with the studio beginnings and eventually I will film and show you um, what it will look like when it's done. And if you are on Instagram, on Instagram TV, I have documented from um, studs all the way to finish of how I did this particular wall, drywalling and texturing and, and putting up the shelving. So if you're interested in that, go over to my um, Instagram account at 5 Dog Farm. But for now, let's get you closer so you can see this nesting box get assembled. So let's go ahead and get this assembled. This is a Harris Farms two-hole nesting box. This is our second purchase. We have, for all the times we have had chickens, sort of made do. Right now it's milk crates, we've used uh, Rubbermaid tubs, we've used whatever was at hand to make things happen. Uh, but I find with the first real set of nesting boxes that we've put in, the eggs stay nicer and maybe it's just me, but I think the chickens like it too. So don't laugh, I really do. I just think it's a nice place for them. Um, Usually I put a milk crate maybe under the poop deck or under something to have them feel that sheltered feeling. But for whatever purpose, this nesting box is definitely keeping the Easter Egger eggs nice and clean. So you know, I'm going to go with that. I like clean eggs. So bubble wrapped really nicely. Now some of this I'm going to speed through because seeing me tighten some screws with a screwdriver, who cares? Um, here is the the little uh, ledge that they can jump in on and yeah, open end of the bubble wrap. Instructions, I'll need that. It's been a while since I assembled the other one. There we go. So fairly straightforward. There's the sides. Nice breathing holes in them. And the other pieces. But I won't pretend to remember what they were. <laughs> now, I don't, you can't tell, but this is really nicely done. There's no sharp edges, which I have found with other items that have been economical. Uh, there have been corners cut. This is, this I remember, this is the base. That's where your straw or pine shavings or whatever it is that you use will, will rest. And then um, the top. So let's get started. When we took everything out of the box, these panels were nested in each other. They're all marked A, B, and C, which is what they refer to them as on the instructions. They also tell you what tools you need. They want me to use a socket set, but I couldn't find mine, so I'm just gonna work along here with my, um, um, my clients and my screwdriver. That should work. I can always cinch it up later. All right, I'm gonna put on my specs so I can see what I'm doing. And um, I put down a little protective area because I don't want to tear up my cutting table. And they're marked panels A, B, and C for a reason, and you want to do them in order. You'll notice that two of the panels have the same angle. That's because panel B goes in the middle. What you don't want to do is goof and put them like this, thinking 
um, it's A and B on the sides and C in the middle. So uh, it's A, B, and C. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting it together with the uh, nuts and screws that they gave me. What's nice is these nuts are um, the uh, self-locking kind, so it makes it nice and snug. And I am not going to bore you through this whole thing. I'll go ahead and speed up the film when I need to and come back when there's um, something I'd like to point out to you. So don't worry, you don't have to suffer through the entire thing. When you're putting the nuts on, I like to put the, the nut on the outside so that I don't have anything sticking on the inside that could interest the chickens or, or harm the chickens. So I make sure to have the uh, screws sticking through the hole towards the outside. pieces. Another thing I would suggest is put your bottom screw in first. That gives you the ability to kind of move the top one around to get that in straight. Also, when you put your bottom screw in first, don't tighten it all the way down. Again, you want to be able to move around a little bit so that you can get this, uh, this screw in here. Okay, so next we've got the purchase. So let's do the purchase next. So I turned this around so you can see my, I was uh, trying to run another camera and uh, battery ran out on it. So I'm going to just try to see if you can see this way. So we're going to be putting the perch arms in, but before we do that, we want to put the front on. Now there's a, a lip on the bottom and, uh, and on the top, but what you want is your rectangle at the top because your perch arms are going to go through this. You don't want them down here. You want them up here. So you put it on like this. Same thing, same nuts and bolts. And again, we'll go ahead and speed through this part. All right, now we've got the area for the perch arms to go in. If any of you are asking, gosh, wouldn't this be easier with a power drill? I tried to do that with the first one. I, it doesn't fit in. So you just muscle up and you get it done. But all in all, it's still really, really easy to put together. So now we're ready for the perch arms. And what they want is that you put the longest arm in first. Make sure I'm getting this right. And you'll slide that in. And then what you're going to want to do is put on the other arm here and that's where your perch is going to go across. So that's what I'm going to do next. Now I'm going to put the perch arms on. Um, I'll tell you one thing, when you're assembling stuff for a camera, it's a whole lot different than when you're assembling it for yourself. So you might not be able to see this one, but let's just say I'm just screwing in some screws into some nuts like I've done on this whole thing. This one works a little differently. I put the screw on the outside instead of the inside. Uh, two reasons. It's, well, really, I guess basically one reason. It's not going to reach the chickens because the screw is going into this channel here. Okay? So um, you can't, I can't get my screwdriver inside of here um, to put, to, to, to try to tighten the screw that way. So that's just the way it has to go. I can certainly get my pliers in here to hold the nut but I cannot get the screwdriver in there to turn the screw. So that sort of dictated how this one's going in. And again, that's fine because it's not going to affect the chickens. They're not going to be able to get to it. There's a channel protecting them from anything. Now, when you put these arms in, be sure you're grabbing the right one for the right side. So A is going to be this way. B is going to be this piece holes here going in here, all right? Because if you do it the other way around, you're going to have it upside down and that's not going to make a whole lot of sense. So that's just one of those little things that if you're watching this video, it's a nice little thing to know ahead of time. 
and not pop it in the wrong way. Let me screw this one down too. Again, don't forget, leave the first screw loose so that you can come back and tighten them up. It makes it so much easier to get that second screw into the hole than trying to fight pulling something apart that's already tightened. And every once in a while, and this is with any build, um, I just assembled a whole bunch of Ikea stuff for Jamie recently. Um, sometimes the nut doesn't like the screw or vice versa. The threads don't enjoy each other. Just grab another one. And usually nine times out of 10, the next one will go on just fine. All right, so there we are. Um, now what we need to do is put on these little arms. So we're gonna put on these little arms. I'm just reading the instructions to see how they want me to put them on. It's been a while. So one hole makes it simple. So short perch arms are on. Now, now it's time for the nest bottom. Which just seats itself right there. No screws, yay. All right, there's the bottom. Now, they want us to go ahead and put on a perch. We can do that. Now they, they provided longer screws for the perch. One perch on. All right, so what we have left is the roof. Now it's easy to spot which way the roof goes because our logo's on the front. And then they say to just hand tighten these because what you're gonna be, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put the hangers here too. They give you some really nice hangers as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in here as well. It really is easy to put this together. It's just a matter of the fact that I can't fit an electric drill in here. That's what takes the longest. So I really love this unit. I think it looks good. I know it works good. I'm not sponsored at all. I just wanted to bring something to you that I felt was an item that's going to last on the farm. Uh, is going to be a hardy item that will make it for years because goodness knows things get beat up quick on a farm. And I just really, really liked this, this product. I'll put a link below where I got it, um, and I, I get nothing off of that, but I really am just thrilled with this particular nesting box. And um, I, I hope you uh, check into it, see if you like it. I hope this helped anybody who did buy a Harris Farm nest box, uh, assemble it, uh, make it a little bit easier. There, there are a couple of confusions here, at least for me, on, on the arms coming out, but I figured it out on the first one. So there you have it, everybody. The next nesting box for our messiest birds, the Jersey Giants. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please consider subscribing. I'd love it if you would. I appreciate all of you who already have. This is Nikki D from Five Dog Farm. I'll talk to you soon.